excited because Troy Brower now a member of the St. Louis Blues and he joins us live here on Fox Sports Midwest and our Cardinals live uh, show that we're taking a little break to talk some Blues hockey. How was it out there? It was great. You know, the fans were uh, energetic and lively, and it was a great turnout as well. So uh, a little bit of hot because there's so many people there, but yeah. uh, that's a good problem to have. Well, that is a good problem to have. Uh, we welcome you to St. Louis. It may be about the, the 3,000th person <laughs> to do that to you uh, since you've been here. But uh, you tweeted out a picture of your daughter with her uh, very first uh, St. Louis Blues jersey as we take a look at it. Yeah, uh, we went to the store the other day and she wanted to have a, a new blue jersey is yeah. what she calls it and, and uh, uh, so we got it and she wanted to put it on right away and she wore it all night long just watching TV, awesome. uh, ate supper in it and did everything so she's excited to be uh, part is, of the Blues. How old is Kylie? Uh, she'll be three in October. Oh, that's great. Cute stuff. Uh, you bring a lot of experience to the Blues including the, the knowledge of how it and what it takes to, to hoist the Stanley Cup. Yeah, uh, you know, it's a tough thing to do, and, uh, you know, the more guys that you can have with experience, uh, just situational experience, know what to do uh, in series, have a little bit more insight, uh, it's a valuable thing to have. You come over from the Capitals and the uh, T.J. Oshie trade, uh, and I know it's not about you're filling one guy's shoes and he's <laughs> filling yours uh, over with the Capitals, but it was a popular player, and now you, yeah. you uh, bring a little something that maybe he didn't have. So I, I think a lot of people are excited to see you wear a Blues jersey. Yeah, I'm excited as well, and, and uh, hopefully I can be an exciting player as well, but uh, I'm going to be my own player, right. and, and hopefully uh, you know, I, I can uh, create some fans and, and uh, create some wins here in, uh, in St. Louis. You were a Blackhawk, you were a, a Capital, especially with the Blackhawks, you knew what this town could be like uh, hockey craze <laughs> in the middle of the winter. Yeah, uh, you know, as a as a hawk, it was always tough to come into this building and play, and, and you knew there were going to be tough games, hard-fought games, and it's going to be nice to be on the other side with uh, the fans behind you and, yeah. and you being the tough home team. Maybe having uh, David Backus be one of your teammates instead <laughs> of be the guy that got under your skin a little bit, probably. Yeah, he uh, he's a great player, and, and uh, he was always one of the guys that uh, you never want to play against, and, and uh, you know, to have him on your side, yeah. it's going to be a big bonus this year. Be captaining you guys again this year and uh, Ken Hitchcock I mean the name speaks for itself but to have that kind of wisdom and that kind of knowledge has got to be a big plus it, it is uh, you know I thought he's handled this team very well over the past couple seasons you know a little trouble in the playoffs but uh, you know he's he's gone through that he's won a Stanley Cup as right. well and now we're uh, we're looking to get everybody else here and one more and you mentioned what it takes to win the cup but this team has been close enough and Maybe they're ready finally after some failures to get get over that hump. Sometimes you need a, a couple uh, failure, failures to learn right. um, how to get to that next level. And we're hoping that uh, this year is going to be our year. And, and I think we've got all the tools that it's going to take. We yep. just got to put them into place. Well, it gets started very quickly. You guys have your first uh, preseason game coming up uh, on September 22nd. Then on October 8th, of course, the season opener, it's going to be a busy first uh, two weeks of the season as you see that schedule. Of course, all the games right here on your home of the Blues, Fox Sports Midwest, John Kelly, Darren Pang, Bernie Federico, and myself with the coverage. Uh, it gets going hot and heavy, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Uh, you know, it's nice to have that first game at home, though, but uh, it's yeah. going to be a little bit of a tough road trip. Uh, we're going to have to set the standard early, especially yep. as a road-dominant team. And, and uh, if you want to win and during the regular season and into the playoffs, you have to win on the road. And, we're going to have to learn how to do that early. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to it. Uh, again, welcome to St. Louis. Welcome to the Blues, and much success in the upcoming season, Troy. Uh, thank you very much, Pat.